<laughs> right. <laughs> for Diamonds Week and Invercargill, we're getting down to the South Island, and I'm at uh, Macca Lodge. Firstly, catching up with uh, the boys. I'm going to do something very shortly uh, with Brent with some uh, Wienlands going to the Wienland sales. But, Kane, um, firstly, what a beautiful place you guys got here. Yeah, it's not too bad. Bloody... Um does the job, it's big enough, so... It's a very, very big concern. Dad's taking me around, showed me all the, the farm and, and the likes. Um, he's going to take a backward step very, very shortly, and you're, you've got to step up to the plate, mate. Ah, oh, well, have been for about the last five, ten years anyway. Carrying, you've been carrying him? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, well, that's... Oh, well, I mean, you've got to be honest, and, and that's the way it is. Just remember, I haven't done the interview with him yet, oh, so he will he can get the return oh, serve. He can get the return <laughs> serve. But you guys, I mean, it is a big operation, a um, lot of mares, a lot of foals, a lot of responsibility, really, for, for the industry. Do you do you enjoy it? Yeah, well, yeah, I do, actually. Um, some days you wake up, you wonder what you're doing, but... Nah. I know it's not bad. Just hook on. Have, have you always done it? Uh, no. No, only about the last 10, 15 years. I've got to go fishing. So what did you do before it then? I was a shearer. <laughs> so you don't mind random hard jobs then and hard yeah, work? Yeah, well, that's, that's all I've done since I left school, so that's all I know. Dad used to do sheep too, he told me, but there's not a sheep to be seen anywhere on yeah, the farm now. Right, it's sick of them. Yeah, it's gone indeed. forever. <laughs> right, Bruno Munro is with me as well. Now, you work here on the farm. How long have you been here for, me? Um, coming up two years, so, um, yeah, enjoying it. It's a uh, bloody good setup and they're good people to work for. Yeah, they are, and um, good people that just look around and even t introduce you to a cheese roll. Uh, what do you call it? Southland Sushi or yeah, something along the, those lines. Yeah, this yeah, is going to be one of the more yeah. random interviews <laughs> I've done since I've been here, but I actually enjoy it. Now, you, you're, I suppose, responsible for the horses, uh, primarily the work, working the horses and that, but do you get around doing any other odd jobs around the place uh, as well? I try to avoid the broodmare barn as much as possible. Um, I just like sticking to the racehorses, but every now and again I get roped into the odd job. But, yeah, the racehorses are primary focus for myself here so yeah works well plenty of horses coming through too and um, you know do a lot of selling and uh, and and that do you enjoy that side of it though uh, yeah no doubt um, you know you sort of got to sell those horses to keep the business ticking over in terms of what we do here so it is good to keep them moving but we sort of like to keep the better ones for ourselves if we can if I can talk Macker into keeping the good ones it's always good but yeah we're pretty lucky at the moment we've got a nice nice team around us sort of six or seven that we quite like and uh, hopefully they can sort of step up and race in the better races throughout the year and we'll uh, have a lot of fun along the way I know that much I'll put a bit of pressure on you I tell you you're going to win a lot of nice races you, you spend, you spend, <laughs> spend 20, 20 minutes in the car with him and, he, and he's got them all one no 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 he enjoys it which is it's good and um, do you enjoy I suppose the selling of them you know like the, the Aussies you Kiwis always are selling if you like and that but um, you know do you enjoy that side of the business I know it's a necessity for you guys down here um, to continue I suppose turning a dollar but um, do you enjoy that side of it? Um, yeah it is nice to see them go on and do a pretty good job over over an Aussie but um, you know like as long as yeah they leave here and they're doing everything right and you know people come back and buy office again I suppose that's the big big positive you know if you're getting repeat business then um, yeah we must be doing something right. Yeah, and, and it's exactly, and it's what you guys do. And um, I mean, they do an enormous job with the breeding industry. But breaking in and pre-training, you got a couple here ready to go. It's a, it is a big operation. Uh, did it surprise you when you got here how big it was? Um, yeah, me and my partner come up uh, before I took the job and had a look around. And I've grown up with horses my whole life, and it still blew me away. Going out in paddocks and you know seeing all the weanlings and all the young horses and broodmares and that. It's uh, yeah, it is a sight to behold. That's for sure. Good learning curve for a young bloke too because, I mean, I went out in the paddock with a couple of the Wienlands, that's what I'm here with, uh, NZB, because I've got some guys going to the Wienland sales. So quiet, like, no horse ran away from us, they all walk up to us. It'd be a pretty good learning experience for a young bloke as well. Yeah, no doubt. You know, they put a, over in the breeding barn, they put a lot of um, time into those young horses before they leave the place and try to get them that way, you know, and, you know, probably helps that people do come and have a look at them quite often and Macca spends a lot of time taking people around and driving around the paddock and it sort of just calms them down a wee bit and they sort of get used to people and it um, probably works in their favour a wee bit, you know. Diamonds Day is coming up on Sunday. That's what, one of the reasons I'm here for. you got one going around. Any chance? Uh, Mary Morn, yeah. She's um, caught the horror draw. I think she's about eight on the back row, which ran in Vicargill's an absolute nightmare. But Seriously, eight on the back row? Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it is. It's seven or eight. I think there's only six off the front, so she might even end up on the front line if uh, Timmy Turtle does the right job. But, um, yeah, we're pretty happy with her. She tried really good last week, and the back row draw kills her. But I thought if she got into the race at the right time, they'd know she's there anyway. 
Uh, very good, mate. Thanks for joining me. No worries. Now, Kane, um, you, know, you said you're there doing the shearing and that. You ever sit back and have a look and sort of say, well, what a job mum and dad have done? Uh, yep, over time, really. Um, well, I was pretty keen to get out of sharing, be fair. Six, seven years in that was enough for me, so I was looking for something else to do. Um, this has popped up at the right time, so yeah, had a go at it. Dad's looking at winding back. Um, he, he tells me most of the good watering holes, he, he knows where most of those are. He's looking to, to wind back a little bit, although he's going to be here for a while, I think, keeping an eye on you. But um, you enjoy the challenges of what you guys got ahead? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, and I think we've got the best watering holes in South, it's definitely <laughs> Southland anyway. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with them. So, um, no, it's always good to kick back and relax and have a few beers at one of them, that's for sure. Are you nervous about um, you know, taking op on an operation as size of this? Um, not really. Been doing it, last, like I said, five, ten years, so nothing new. Well, I reckon for the industry, I think what my mum and dad have been able to start, and yeah, you, know, you guys, and I know you got a, a brother and a sister. I might have forgotten one there. I don't know. You didn't mention them anyway. If there is someone else, but I'm sorry, you're the black sheep. Um, no, but um, yeah, I think the job mum and dad have done, um, and, and are continuing to do for the industry, because I know everyone says to me, "Oh, Macro will follow it down, Macro will follow it down," and I just, I, from Australia, you sit back and you think, "How big is this place?" And I'm glad I got here to have a look at it because it's just magic, and uh, to take the time around and show me. So I think what you guys are doing here. At Macro Lodge is just bring it, mate. So keep up the good work, and uh, I'll, ca I'll call back in 12 months when you are the King Honcho, and then you can really give, you can really give Dad a hard time. Then yeah, <laughs> give you a true story. <laughs> All right, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for showing, or Dad, for showing me around. But uh, thanks for the hospitality as well today. No worries. Thank Pretty you. Good.